Welcome again to Monday Mo Moments. Um, I love the fall changes, the leaves, mm, the smell, the turning of crops for harvest. It makes me think about lots of changes and how do I handle changes? Do I grumble and complain when I'm asked to um, change my schedule, routine, or maybe rearrange my room for something else going on in the building? Do I get upset when my family decides to change the plans for the weekend when we had something planned three weeks ago that we talked about? Or do I have anxiety when extra people show up for supper I have to change my menu or readjust it. In times of change, we usually become fearful or anxious because we're not sure what's going to happen or how everything's going to unfold. But we do need to remember that change here on Earth is only temporary. And we can decide how to handle the changes and what's really important in our lives. It is, is it worth stressing over and the emotional ups and downs or we can think about how we can rest in the truth knowing that God has a plan for us he sees the whole picture and will lead us down the right path when we place our trust in him when those changes kind of bombard us and ambush us does he not say in Matthew 6 verse 26 Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet our Heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Yes, change is inevitable in our daily lives here on this earth. But we can have the peace and assurance as written in Hebrews 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. No matter what changes come about, Jesus will always be with us through those changes. Just lean on him, trust in him, and go with the flow. Let's have a moment of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I know that when change comes about in my life, I sometimes get irritable and upset because change is hard. I ask you to be with me. Help me to change my heart and my mindset. And remember that you know the big plan, that you will be with me. You will be with all of us as we go through the changes on this earth and that your love will never change. Your forgiveness will never change and you will always be with us. In your name we pray. Amen. And I'm looking forward to seeing many of you later this week at the All Professional Church Workers Conference in um, Harney. Um, have a great rest of the week.